Hi judges! Welcome to another segment of Engineer Jod Hernandez Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will discuss how to prove trigonometric identities. So in this lesson, we will be using what we have learned from trigonometric identities because those identities will be substituted into different terms so that we will be able to know if the left side is equal to the right side. If the left side is equal to the right side, therefore, we are able to prove a trigonometric identity. Okay, so let's start with our first given. For the first given, we are given secant of x times cotangent of x is equal to cosecant of x. So in proving trigonometric identities, let us remember what we have learned from fundamental identities. The quotient identity, the reciprocal identity, and the Pythagorean identity. Okay, so we know we have here secant and cotangent. If we are proving trigonometric identities, we only need to choose which side we are going to manipulate. And if we are choosing the side that we will be manipulating, remember to choose the side with many terms that is um, being involved on that side. Okay, for example, this one. The left side, it contains two terms. And the right side only has one term. Okay, so in this case, we will be manipulating the left side since it contains two terms. Okay? So, again, kung mamimili tayo ng side na imamanipulate natin, pipiliin natin yung side na mas maraming term. Kasi, yun yung side na pwede na mas mabilis natin siyang um, maayos dun sa gusto natin na, na term. For example, eto dapat mapakamukha natin siya dun sa kanan. Okay? So, that is how we're going to do it. And also, remember that if we are proving an identity, remember to reduce all the terms as much as possible to sines and cosines. Again, the simplified forms of all the terms must be in sines and cosines. Okay, example. Can we reduce secant in terms of sine and cosine? Very good. Because... We could reduce this into a reciprocal identity, which is equal to 1 over cosine of x. How about for cotangent? What is the equivalent value of cotangent? From quotient identity. And that quotient identity is exactly that is cosine of x over sine of x. Multiplying these two terms, we could say that we will be able to cancel out a term. And that is cosine of x. And is this equal to the right side, which is cosecant of x? We do not know yet. So, this is now equal to 1 over sine of x. And what is 1 over sine of x? It is equal to a reciprocal identity. And 1 over sine is equal to? Very good. That is cosecant of x. Is the left side equal to the right side now? Look at the given. Is the left side equal to the right side now? Yes. Therefore, we are, we, we are given um, an identity and we were able to prove that problem number one is really an identity. Okay, so... Let's now answer problem number two. We are given tangent of x times cosecant of x is equal to secant of x. Again, we choose the left side. Why? Because it contains two terms. And from that, we should be able to simplify it or to reduce it into sines and cosines. Okay. Tangent of x times cosecant of x. We know that tangent of x is a quotient identity. And that quotient identity is equal to? Very good. That is sine of x over cosine of x. Multiply that to cosecant of x. Cosecant of x, we reduce this or we simplify this into its reciprocal identity. And that reciprocal identity is 1 over sine of x. So that we will be able to cancel out sine. Simplifying, it is now equal to 1 over 
cosine of x. And what is 1 over cosine of x? Very good. It is a reciprocal identity equal to? Exactly. That is secant of x. Therefore, the left side and the right side now are equal. And we were able to prove an identity. Okay, so let's move on to problem number 3. For problem number 3, look at this. We are given sine of x times cosecant of x times tangent of x times cotangent of x is equal to 1. Therefore, which side are we going to choose? Very good. The side containing four terms. Okay? So, let us now try to simplify sine of x. It is already reduced to sine. Therefore, we will not anymore be using this one. Cosecant of x. Since this is sine, can we express cosecant in terms of sine? Exactly. That is a reciprocal identity which is equal to 1 over sine of x. We are given here tangent and we are also given here cotangent. And they are reciprocals of each other. Therefore, I will be writing here tangent of x and then I'll be multiplying that to the reciprocal identity of cotangent which is 1 over tangent of x. So what can we say about our working equation? Sine times 1 over sine, we cancel out sine of x. Tangent of x times 1 over tangent of x, very good. We cancel out tangent of x. 1 times 1 is exactly, therefore 1 is equal to 1. And we were able to prove an identity. Okay, so let's move on for number 4. We are now given a fraction. We are given cosecant of x over cotangent of x is equal to secant of x. Okay, therefore, we will be choosing the left side. So, in this case, we will be simplifying cosecant and cotangent. So, we will be reducing these terms into sines and cosines. Cosecant of x is equal to a reciprocal identity which is equal to 1 over sine of x. And cotangent of x is equal to the quotient identity which is equal to cosine of x over sine of x. And we are dealing here with division. So if we will be using multiplication, this will now be equal to 1 over sine of x times we will be disregarding the division here because we will be using multiplication. If we will be using multiplication here, therefore we will be using its Exactly. It's reciprocal. And what is the reciprocal of cosine of x over sine of x? Yes, that is sine of x over cosine of x. So from division, we were able to have multiplication. Simplify, therefore we cancel out sine of x and we're left with 1 over cosine of x. And what is the equivalent value of 1 over cosine of x? Very good. That is secant of x. Is secant of x equal to secant of x? Yes. Therefore, we were able to prove an identity. Okay, let's move on to our fifth example. So this is um, in solving for this fifth example. This is a technique. If you are given terms in the numerator, just like this one, we are given 1 plus cosine of x over sine of x is equal to cosecant of x times cotangent of x. I'll be choosing here the more complicated side. Okay? So in this case, we are given here 1 plus 